Hey everybody, it's Kevin here for you for another One Piece uh, talk. Just a One Piece talk. We're gonna be talking about the One Piece film that got announced. Well, it got announced yesterday. It was supposed to be announced today with episode 1000 because they want to do a big reveal of episode 1000. We got a little teaser trailer for One Piece film Red at the end of episode 1000. So crazy to say that episode 1000. We did we did get a little teaser trailer for that, and it's in the, and um they also uploaded it separately. Of the episode, so you don't have to like watch the episode and like skim through it if you didn't want to. And they, they released that separately. And anyway, we got a little teaser trailer for the next One Piece film coming out next year in August called One Piece Film Red. So it's coming out in August. It's probably not gonna come here until like I don't know. Well, they came they came out with the My Hero movie pretty fast for America, but you know, here it'd probably be like 2023 or maybe December if we're lucky. But anyway, we're gonna come about episode 1000 and here. So we finally made it to 1000 episode. And One Piece, which is crazy. 1,000 episodes. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I was trying to figure out what I can put in the background for my One Piece um, reviews and videos. Obviously, the pillow when I record, but when I do my streams, when I bring up my bigger computer, it zooms in kind of too much. You can't see it. So I hung that up, but it's too, and not, it's not too far in the back, but since I'm right in the middle, I block it. <laughs> I realize as soon as I turn on my camera, I'm like, oh, I block it. You gotta be kidding me. I don't wear that because um, my mom got it from a website, a Japanese website, and she didn't put 2X, but, you know, their size is a bit different, so it's too small for me. I kept the shirt because it's a nice shirt, but it was too small for me, so I couldn't fit it. Uh, anyway, well, I can just put it right there. I, can, nah, I, I do remember. Anyway, uh, let's talk about episode 1000. Finally got here. We got a new opening with episode 1000. I'll show you some clips from that. Not too many because, you know... It is a remake of We Are, the very first One Piece opening, which is wild. I heard about that, and I saw some clips of it a few days ago, and I thought they were going to, like, redo it. Like, you know, have the new, like, have a new team actually do the exact same song as We Are, but, you know, it's a whole new team, different bass and everything. The video I saw was the exact same thing. It was the exact same audio, the exact same music and everything. It actually had the old animation. Not the first episode. That's why my screen was like those two black bars because they didn't have that widescreen just yet. Then when it goes into the new animation of We Are, it goes out. It's the exact same thing, just with everybody updated in the modern pro time tip of design. There is a bit difference in it because you know we got extra crew makes, so they had to extend some scenes out, make the thing longer. It has the exact same scene where the Sunny or the Mary was like just going on the seas and all those sea kings were going up. That exact same scene plays out, except this time instead of the Mary, it's the sun. Like it looks so cool. It's like the exact same stuff, but it's different. It, 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 it does go different in some spaces, like when Luffy's spinning his hat on his finger, when it usually goes into the hat, we see Shanks wearing it. He's like, hey, and you see his whole crew? It does the exact same thing instead of, instead, it does um just sank, you know, it looks like a big bright light and he's already standing up so he doesn't like go into him wearing it and then stand up. We see like flashes of all the Yonko besides Shanks. We got one cool scene where I want to show you, um, oh, I'm going to show you some clips from episode 1000. I already got that pulled up. But uh, we get one cool scene where we see little kid Luffy and he hops. And so when he takes one step, he turns into a pre-time skip Luffy and he runs a bit more then he hops again. And as soon as his foot touches the ground, it's post-time skip and he jumps. And he gets back on the ship, and he's like, yeah, what's up? And his whole crew, I'm like, that is so cool. That is so cool that they did that. Now, I don't know if the clip I was just watching just put in the original audio from the first We Are, just to be more nostalgic. Maybe, like, in a few days, I'll see, like, if somebody, like, an official account. Because it wasn't, like, an official account, like, Funimation or um, One Piece. I don't think One Piece. We, we do what I'm saying. It's not, like, a fun, uh, official account that I watched. So maybe they did redo the music and everything, but, you know, with the same sort of scene. Maybe they did, and that person I was just watching just put the original in. But, but that would be kind of quick to do that, right? I mean, that, that would be really quick, because it literally, while I was watching the live stream, of them live streaming episode 1000, like, from Funimation, literally, I, I clicked off it for a second, and it was already up. So they did do that. That was pretty quick. I mean, that, that, that was pretty quick for them to do that. But, hey, you know, maybe, maybe he has the fastest, maybe he or she got the fastest hands in the West. He just Edited it like crazy, just edited it. Who knows? But finally, episode 1000. That's crazy. But I won't be always gonna be either. Probably oh, might be in 2000. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> that is crazy. 1000 episodes. Now people are gonna complain even more. One piece is too long. <laughs> they can't get into it. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Oh, it's been a journey with One Piece, man. I probably won't get too much into my journey because it's gonna take forever to talk about it and, um, 
um, you know, my computer can't record that long. I remember um, my first, my technically my first episode was during the baby back fight. I was uh, how old was I? I was either in the fifth or sixth grade, and I did a lock in at the YCA with at the YMCA during my summer camp, and we stayed up all night. We passed out, and I stayed up way later than I usually do because oh the screen took a turn, but uh, I stayed up way later than I usually do, so I was up. A lot. I mean, yeah, I stayed up later than I usually do because I was asleep all day. Then I finally got back home, and Toonami was on. And it was an episode of One Piece in the Big Bad Fight, specifically when they were doing the dodgeball fight. So I remember, like, Luffy caught one of those dodgeballs in his mouth and swallowed it. He was stretching around. Chopper was, like, you know, transforming in his big point, his brain point. And I was like, yo, what is this show? I was like, this, this looks so cool. I was like, what is this show? This looks really cool. But then before I went to commercial to where it was sold to, you know, the title, like, hey, we'll be back with One Piece right after these messages. Before I got to that, I passed out again. Then I woke up and I was like, man, this sucks. I want to know what that show was. And I completely forgot about it for like another year. And then in seventh, seventh grade year during Christmas break, I remember this. That's when I got my tablet. Um, I just randomly remembered it. I just remember like what the show was, but I couldn't remember the name. But then there's this YouTuber out there named WTF Purple Eyes. And he does a parody of one piece called none piece i started watching that and it was really funny and then like at the beginning it's like you know a, a copyright disclaimer that he's allowed to use these scenes and all this other stuff and he'll put one piece my like, oh that's what it's called it took me forever to finally find it but there was, used to be this one youtube channel called one piece tv i can't find it anymore but they had dubbed the one piece from episode one all the way up until um around the alabaster arc they had some alabaster arc Episode up until around Alabasta, I had to go to different YouTube channels to find each one episode is done because they just wouldn't have it. And then finally, I was able to go on another place I could go watch it. But anyway, that, that was like my basic really started up from One Piece. I probably won't go all yeah, I'm not gonna go all the way into it. My computer won't record for that long, probably gonna be like an hour or so. It just popped on my journey all the way. But that's how it, that's how it begun. I finally got into One Piece. It's really cool. Just, Episode 1000. I'm not on episode 1000 personally. I watched the dub, so I was. I'm a bit behind because I'm in Punk Hazard. I, I've been slacking a little bit, but uh, you know I do read the manga, so I'm caught up in that. And obviously, whenever a one episode comes out, I watch it because I want to see how they animated that scene from the manga, see what the difference is, and how cool it's gonna look because it's one animation. It's like movie animation, you know? That's crazy. One animation. Um, he had some cool scenes for a specific one. From episode 1000, they animated this episode pretty beautifully. Now, this anime quality is somewhat low because it was like a live stream. And it, it looked kind of beautiful, but it was kind of low too in this one um, channel that I'm watching it on. Uh, this channel is called uh, oops, Anime Ink Sub TV. That's what this channel is called. Uh, I couldn't really find it anywhere else. Anywhere else. Now, one big highlight was the Jack stuff. Him just swatting away all the Sulung forms. In the manga, oh, we just get that one panel of him just going crazy with the trunk. In the anime, we actually see him doing that a bit more. We see all those other Sulung minks. I, I said monks, didn't I? <laughs> all the Sulung minks jumping at him, stabbing with a sword. And they do this huge electricity attack on him. It hurts him, obviously. But he muscles through it and he's able to swipe him away with his trunk. We didn't see this scene in the manga, I don't think. After he swats them away with his trunk, they all just deactivate from too long. That one swipe attack was able to take them out. In the anime episode, Kinemon and them were going to go, I think it happened in the manga too, were going to go after Jack, but obviously, Nagramusi and Arashi wanted him because he attacked Zo. We get to see that too long form animated beautifully. We get a really cool scene where they're like zipping around Jack. They're basically flying. They're, they're really basically flying around Jack, like a Super Saiyan just flying around, and they both finally go back back in front of Jack, and they just, they just fly all around his body, for some reason, like, they trying to extend this episode, in beautiful animation, they just fly all around his body, and then they come back to the face, and then they both lunge at him, but then it cuts, I'm like, oh, that, that really got me hype, as soon as it cut, I was like, yo, this is like, they're doing the manga, they literally, like, <laughs> some, uh, most of the times in the manga, something cool happened, they finna clash, and it just cuts, I'm like, yo, are you serious, the anime episode really did that, that, that actually had me kind of mad, Really bad. And I also noticed this two episodes before uh, ago. They changed Jack's skin color for someone. Normally, he's a um, brown. Well, not, not, not skin color like when he's in a human form. It's his uh, mammoth form. In mammoth form, he's usually brown. Now it's like a som somewhat light red. 
for some reason. I don't know why. It's not like he awakened or anything and he was like, now his skin tone and his mammoth form changed. I don't know why they did that. I guess they just wanted to be a bit more colorful and vibrant in Wano. I mean, I guess I could understand that they did that from the beginning. Well, he never really changed into his mammoth form like that near the beginning or middle of Wano. We really get most of him at the end with uh, in the raid, so it's whatever. Anyway, this is Nick Mamusi and Inuarashi. In their Su Long forms, they look beautiful. Look at that. That looks so beautiful. <laughs> that looks so dope. I can't wait to like play a game or something with them. Like, that'd be so look look at that. Look how beautiful they did this. Anime man, they, they did a good job. They did a really good job. Anime man. This is so beautiful. <laughs> that is so beautiful. I really like that. And like oops. Ah, I keep um cutting it. Like I said, they just fly around Jack like crazy. They just fly around Jack like he's a super saiyan. I mean, like like they're super saiyan with the old ores. Like, that's Nick and Moose in a rock. That, that's them two just flying around and going towards Jack. Look at that. Like, what are they doing? <laughs> they have never been able to do this before. But, hey, it's whatever. And right before they lunge at him and do their signature, well, not signature attack, but do an attack, it just cuts. I'm like, are you serious? Are you serious? That, that sucked. That sucked really bad. That sucks, man. Another highlight is when Frankie was doing his valuable beam, they were making it look like it's um a comedy. Com I keep going back to Dragon Ball references, but wait, no, 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 no. Oh, that was episode four. My bad, my bad. I, uh, I literally, I was watching a live stream that said episode one thousand. It wasn't the Funimation one, and it showed Frankie like charging up his radical beam, and he was like going after Big Mom. I was like, wait a second, ain't this the last episode from last week? I was like, nah, nah. Why did we put episode one thousand? But then the Jinbei, Jinbei grabbed Big Mom and slammed her. I'm like, wait, yeah, this is the last episode. What? I was, I was, I was like, what are they doing? <laughs> this is that episode 1000. What are they talking about? Uh, another highlight. Well, I was going to put the Sanji. I'm not the Sanji. I was going to put the Luffy and Zoro um, getting caught by Queen. But it's what I, I just like. I just like that screen cat of them when they get grabbed by Queen's tail. Them just next to each other and like, like I, I really like that screen cap. And another cool thing they did in this episode, besides the opening when they um she just sold the original stuff, they actually had the original. I forget it's like halfway through the episode they sold this. I, I forget what they call it. It's kind of screen cap. The I don't know, like like the midway points where in the middle of the episode they saw like a cute little animated scene, One Piece or whatever, and then it goes back to the episode. Like I guess they saw this during a commercial. During um in Japan, like you're watching in Japan, they sold the first part, then the commercials and the second part. But they actually do the original opening from like episode one, where they're just standing out in the sunset. Rick, you see that? You see the you see the Mary right next to them? Well, you know, obviously from the first episode was the Mary, but it does the original thing where they're just standing. You see the shadows, and then the wanted poster just flies in there with the thing and hits the screen. And that's the original thing. And that is so cool. They do everything original like. Now, will they keep doing this for the rest of Wano? I don't think so. I think this is just for episode 1000 because it's episode 1000. You know, I don't, I don't think they're going to keep doing this. But, you know, this, this that was pretty cool for them to do. I mean, that, that was really cool. That's dope. And um, midway through, was like some random ads. Like a ton of ads in the video. So it's whatever. They start to animate Frankie going into his Frankie Shogun. Like crazy, like a whole transformer, <laughs> animated it like crazy. And when right before we get the money shot in episode one thousand, we get to see each of the straw hats do something cool, and then it will have the background be their specific colors, like Luffy red, Zoro green. Beautiful animated scene of them doing something like beating up a bunch of fathers. Then we saw a bunch of flashback, um, not panels. I was gonna say flashback panels, but a bunch of flashback. Um, anime episode, like, you know, we see, like, one screen cap of Luffy holding Ace when he died, a screen cap when he's a little kid, screen cap when he's, like, training to learn Ryo, uh, when he's training with Skyna, like, your little flashbacks of Luffy's journey throughout his life, and then we cut back to Luffy in post time skip, things just different, Luffy from different time points in the whole series just around him, then all of those will fade away, then we'll saw his bounty poster, monkey do Luffy. And they do that for each straw hat. That takes up a lot of time because <laughs> it's 10 straw hats. But it's really cool and beautiful anime. Obviously, it is a bit toned down in this episode. But it, it's really cool, man. I, I really like it. And also, yeah, if you go to my mom, I mean, I guess I could, like, tell you everybody. But 
Nah, yeah, that wouldn't take too long. I just gotta skip it. I mean, I, yeah, I just gotta skip through it. But I saw y'all Luffy's and Zoro's and Sanji's and Usopp's and Nami's and Chopper's. And, it, oh yeah, they, and they don't go in order. They do go out of order. They do go in order at first. But then they start to go out of order. They just go on based on who comes up first and everything. Yeah, here it is. This was, I think this was the screen cap. Yeah, this was the... This was the screen cap. I saw a lot of people in the comments. Thank you, you saw Luffy and Zoro there being wrapped up by Queen's Tail. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, looks like I said at the end of this, we see everybody. It's a long episode. I mean, it's a normal episode, but uh, all the... All, like, all those ads in the middle make it kind of long. I don't know why. Like, all those ads came out of nowhere in this live stream. <laughs> they really came out of nowhere. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's kind of crazy that they just come out of nowhere. It's funny. Uh, anyway, like I said, we get, like, this is Zoro's. We get an animated scene of the background just tinted in his color, which is green. And we see him take out a ton of fodder. It's just, like, crazy. And then we get, like, a few flashback panels. Or I keep saying panel, but a few flashbacks imagery of his time and what was well, of his whole journey that was really cool that's a nice shot oh his face is, oh there we go that was really cool that's a nice shot of his time throughout one piece and then when we finally come back to him we get his bounty poster in a cool animated scene which is pretty nice we need do that for each one of the fry hacks oh you saw Zoro beside Luffy I thought I had Luffy but it just cut away like really fast <laughs> it really did it cut away like super fast like crazy oh yeah here it is here it is that is a nice shot. Like I said, it's all regular Luffy now, and all of him throughout his journey when Ace died, thinking about his Nakama, little kid Luffy, Luffy when he first set out, the second, then it all swipes away, and then we see his bounty post, and it says his bounty, which is a really cool scene, and is it twin? No, it is not. <laughs> I didn't click it. <laughs> it is on his bounty poster, which is really cool. Uh, I'll probably tell Sanji he saw the big three, then I keep going. I go into the opening, I go into film rep, film rep view. Yeah, film rep will be the last thing. Okay, here we go. Sanji. The, the, the right before it goes into it, that's a cool shot for Sanji too, because he takes out a ton of fodder during his Spectre attack, because they were shooting arrows at him. And then he just saw Sanji just like standing there, well not standing, but floating there, and there's like flames behind him because he's flared up with um, Dalla Jumbo. That's a really cool screen cap too. Because like you see the fire behind Sanji and Sanji just smiling. That's a really cool screen cap too. I really like that. Okay, let's uh move on. Wait, oh wait, my bad. I forgot the Donnie poster and stuff. <laughs> my bad, yo. I was like, I was just trying to go ahead to the opening because I know y'all just don't want to. See me just <laughs> keep going each stride like that. I mean, you probably do, but uh, it's already at 17 minutes. Who knows? I really like that. They put in the middle right there, Sanji when you find nail, and you're like, thanks. I needed a light. That's a, that, that's some cool pictures, like screen, like whenever it goes into like rendered, and you see, you see, like, I really hope Sanji get a new one poster. Like, obviously, he is. Oh, it's kind of bright. Obviously, he is going to get a new one uh, bounty poster after Wano. But I hope the picture changes. Obviously, the picture should change. Um, but, because uh, I remember I used to have the bounty posters for all the straw hacks and a few other random people. But I didn't hang up Sanji because when I, I think I, I got this in fifth grade. When I just saw Sanji, it didn't look cool. It was just like him with the hot eyes. Obviously, that's that's Sanji. He does the heart eyes and everything. But I'm like, man, I hope he, does, like, I hope he has a cool one like, with his race suit on. Him doing Dao Lick Jamba is something cool. Like, you know, I, I hope whenever his new bounty posts come out, it's something. It's a cool one. Because the first one was just the ball. Second one, yeah, it's Sanji doing the classic Sanji hard eyes. But the third one to be something cool. Like him just doing something, you know, Dao Lick Jamba. Like, something cool. <laughs> you know, so, something cool. Do something cool for me, Sanji. Like, you know? But, um, uh, let me tell you about the cool parts. The cool parts, man. Like I said, look. It's so it's a classic. It's always a classic opening from We Are, where they're just flying. I mean, not flying, but floating on the sea with all the sea kings coming up. Oh, my sword's going down. Uh, with all the sea kings coming up, and it has the sunny right in the middle, just chilling. And that's the exact same animation, too. I don't know if they just, like, reanimated it, but it seems so one-to-one. -one. I think they just, like, redid it. Not, like, maybe, like, like hacked up the, and the original and then just like just photoshop the sun in there. I think that's what, I think that's what they do. Maybe. This is the scene I was talking about. We see Kid Luffy turn into regular Luffy and then post time skip Luffy. This is so cool. I mean that, that is a cool scene right there. That is dope. 
That is really dope. Oh my goodness. Oh, I also forgot the um the classic opening. Oh, I, f- I forgot about this part. I don't, I just so astounded by it. We see each star had to do something cool, and they just go by one by one, and they and they're out of order too. But it's really cool. Like we see each star had so up on the screen, do something, and they disappear really quickly. This is really cool. Really cool. Really really quick and really fresh. So dope. It's so dope. Osra, yeah, I forgot about that. I thought that was so cool. When Zoro just went up here and then Osra really quickly. That that was really cool. I like that. I really like that. And I forgot the classic scene where um I completely forgot the classic scene right here. A little bit spinning on his hat. I, I I didn't mean this. I meant um what's it called? This 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 does sell right here, but it doesn't sell Sank wearing it, it sells him holding it. It's the scene where all oh, that all like standing together on the episode 1000, and it shows that nice scene right there. I completely forget about that. Let me show that really quickly for you guys right now. Oh yeah, let me show you that was a classic scene when Luffy lands in the boat and he looks up at all his Malcolm after we get the One Piece right here. I think it shows that right after this, but we're going to the ocean. I think so. Yeah, yeah, we're going to the ocean. Let me just cut right here. And... Do we not get it? I know we get it in this episode. Must be after this. Yeah, he punches Kaido. He talks about all the. Yeah, here we go. He lands on the ship and then he looks up. That's the classic scene in the first opening. He lands on it. That, that was like the really low quality scene that we kept seeing before episode 1000 came out. And, um, I'm sorry, I'm talking kind of fast. It said low story. And I know that means he's going to cut it off me. And I've been talking for 21 minutes. So I don't want to <laughs> do all this over again because I got some good stuff. In here, so let me just find the scene at the very end right after everybody talks and everybody starts to walk up to each other. Here we go, classic. And I gotta add, of course, I gotta add, of course, I gotta add, like what I'm trying to do. Man, I hate ads. Ad could be like two seconds. I'll still be mad. I can't skip it. The classic scene right here. I just really love how everybody just started walking up on each other. That classic, but the cool scene right here. I just love how everybody was walking up on each other. Like, Zoro and Luffy was already there, and Asagi's like, ah, okay, so you guys are in this spot, too. And he, some, he comes up for the shot, and Robin is on the side. Okay, let's do this, guys. I, I really like that. I love it. They did that in the manga, too, but whatever. And the teaser trailer that we get for the open, I mean, for the film Red, One Piece Film Red, in 2022, we get a sheet of paper, and each of the lines just start to fly off of it. And then we get this new character. We don't know her name yet. It's the original story. People kept saying that it's canon. I don't know if it's canon. Or I, I, I don't know if it's... I don't think... Like, the last couple of films, it has canon elements, but the whole movie's not canon. I kept hearing that the whole movie's canon, which is... I just can't believe that. I mean, obviously, we have no idea where One Piece is... Like, where the story's gonna be at in 2022 in August, so it could be at a spot to where... I guess this film could be canon. But I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway, we get this new character. Uh, this girl, she has Skypean wings on her, which is really unique, and a helmet. And it keeps saying, will her voice bring, I forget what it's specifically saying, if it, like, it went away really fast, but you, you saw her, right? Um, it, this, this um, teacher trailer says, will her, vo- yeah, will her voice bring forth, and this is what she looks like, this new character with Skypean wings, with a girl, like some sort of mic on, a helmet, and this, it didn't really show it too well right here, but this, oops, my bad, <laughs> my bad, uh, it didn't show it too well right here, but in the, and there's, there's a poster that's out, go on Twitter or Instagram, somewhere there's a poster where it shows her in full, uh, well not in full force, it's still like sort of a sketch, so you don't really see what she really looks like, but you do see that she has some wings on her, but it says, will her, vo- will her voice bring forth, let me just go over it, all the people that's making this movie. Internal happiness or endless imprisonment. Then it goes into One Piece. Film red. And then we get the, the shot of the red or the R getting slashed. And it has three stars on it. And then we get same. Because this, this is all we had before.